pas de rien de Actions for you there in the MTFL. Match day six across Nigeria, where you saw Duma United beating Rivers, and you also saw uh, Platinum United there. Well, just to welcome you on the show, 360 Sports on Trust TV. I am Adeni Aji Shafe. Time to take you around the world of sports. We're always on the focus on our own MPFL first. We'll be looking at those matches that have been played. Well, let's look at the first story that has to do with uh, Aqua United, uh, Dean Raymond Stars, as uh, Doma, Stone Rivers United over there in Gombe. A good one for all the clubs that actually won over the weekend. Matches were played in the MPFM at the 6. Let's look at the result quickly in Group A as it went down across different states there in Nigeria. Group A now, we look at the result there. Ben Dangerance played goalless against Gombe. Eyimba defeated Academy Warriors. Shukwemeka Obioma scoring the brace there. You have Aqua United against Remo Stars. 3-1. Suri Olisema, a penalty. Uche Collins scoring the 44th minute. Uh, you have uh, Gon Olaleri actually uh, getting an own goal there. Well, uh, making it 3-1. And uh, you have uh, Kudus Akoni was able to pull one back for Remo Stars. And you have uh, Plateau United who actually picked Quara by a long goal. Dagbo Muritala uh, scoring an own goal against his team, making Plateau to win that game. Shooting start of a bad one, 2-0 against Nasarawa United. Samuel Ayonride getting uh, two goals. That's a brace there. Why we move straight to look at how the table is in that particular group is really getting uh, tougher now. Uh, Bender Insurance with 16 points. Uh, they actually shared the spot over the weekend. It was 
goalless for their match against Gombe United. Red Mustard are still second. Ayimba now they close the gap to 10. They have 10 points. Aqua also 10 points. Plateau United with 10 points. Shooting stars Gombe, Kwara, El Kanemi, and Nasarawa. Nasarawa yet to win this season. They just have a point minus eight goal difference. And we'll quickly swap to Group B to give you updates on uh, the matches played there in Group B. Dakada against Abia 4 2. You have Emmanuel Ayelsi and Nieko Epe. Emmanuel Onu uh, scoring uh, for Emmanuel Onu, John Peter, Felix, and Nekwe. And Monday Yakubu scoring four for Abia, where Emmanuel Ayelsi and El Nieko Epe actually scoring two to full back, reducing the tally. But uh, Abia came so and conquered over there in Uyo. Doma United 2 1 against Rivers United. A good one for Doma United. They were able to win a cut of Usman Musa, who got a brace. And you have Niger Tornados uh, playing goalless against Lobi. Sunshine Stars won by Elsa Neo. Chukude uh, Stevens scoring there in the fourth minute. Ricky Torres pipped Enugu Rangers 1 0. Abu Bakar Liu making it uh, 1 0 for Ricky Torres in Bauchi. Quickly looking at the table, how he's standing right now. Lobi are now topping their obstacle rivers uh, on goal difference 5 4. They have the same point of 13 apiece. Abia Warriors are now uh, third on the log with 12 points, followed by Doma, who actually have nine newcomers uh, in the MPF. They're really showing a lot of uh, uh, prospect there. Sunshine Stars, Niger Tornados, Enugu Rangers, Bayosa United, Dakada FC, and Wiki Torres of Bauchi in that order. And I have in the studio Joseph Peter. Good to have you, Joe. Good morning, sir. Good to have you. Yes, and also we have uh, joining us from Gombe is uh, Mark. Malele, the media officer of Doma United. Let's have you, Mark. Are you there? Oh, yes, Adeni. I'm here. Thank you very much for having me this morning. Okay, good one. Let's talk about your team first. Uh, Doma United, you guys seem to be having uh, a pattern. You are really doing well in the MPFA. Being the fact that uh, uh, I don't want to call your team a newcomer. <laughs> good to have you guys. Uh, really, no, you can call it a newcomer, of course, because we are. Go ahead. Yeah, I said you can still call our team a newcomer because mm. we are a newcomer. Mm. Okay, so your team performance against Rivers, uh, that particular match saw 2-1 uh, and uh, Usman to the rescue. But really, your team fought hard against uh, 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 the defending champion, let me call them defending champion. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I was here the other day to talk about my team. And I guess I told you people we have a target, which we have set before us. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, of all that is happening right now with our team, uh, it's just a work in progress and then trying to see how we can achieve that set target before the end of the season. But mm -hmm. then our performance against Rivers United was a performance we expected from the boys. Uh, though it was disappointing to have uh, fallen behind against the defending champions, but it was not surprising. We know it was going to be a tough game uh, against Rivers United, but our boys were ready for the tax against Rivers United. And you, as you can see, they showed what they can do against Rivers United. And we got all the three points at home. Uh, mm -hmm. What made it special is the fact that we did it in front of our own fans. Okay, good morning there. Talking with uh, Mark Malele from Gombe, representing uh, Doma United. Well, the fact that you guys were able to do that uh, against Rivers uh, was fantastic. Looking at the pedigree in the MPFA and the fact that they are defending champion. But uh, a particular goal, I've, I've saw, I saw a poster talking about uh, uh, their player getting, being a goal bound and then that was called offside. Uh, what would you say about that? Yeah, uh, you see, we, 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 we have always advocated that let there be fair officiating in every game in the Nigerian Professional Football League. And uh, whatever it is, if the referee sees that it is an offside, it is an offside. Mm. When the referee says it is not an offside, it is not an offside. So it is left for the public to always analyze what they see, uh, what we share online and what others share online. So it is not bad for us to analyze every action that happens in every game. So it's not bad to, for us to see that if the referee says it's not an offside, it's not an offside. But if he mm. says it is an offside, it is an offside as mm. well. What a way, you are really a media officer. Good one there. <laughs> okay, now, uh, 
uh, Mark, while you are still there, let's uh, talk with Joe in the studio. Joe, uh, the, uh, a lot of matches were actually played over the weekend in the MPFL. We saw a lot of uh, goals being scored, about 20 goals scored. Abia United were able to go away to Dakada, but now we're actually focusing on Doma beating Rivers. Uh, it, was, it, it wasn't as if uh, they are unbeatable, but uh, no one actually saw that come. Nobody saw it coming. I saw the headline, and somebody, and the headline was like, uh, uh, Doma stunned. Rivers uh, United. United. And I was like, why? Why, why is this stunning? <laughs> it's not stunning. The Doma were at home, and they defeated. They won. They played well, and they won. They came from behind mm. and won the game. It's, 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 it's a good development. I like it that, let's not forget that they are the team I support. Okay. Right, right from N N N N N N N the lower league, the pro league. And that should bring some smile to the face of uh, yeah. Mark Malele there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's the team I support. Why is because in the earlier part of my childhood was at Gombe. So I, I played football at Gombe mm -hmm. and I like, I like Gombe and their football. And, but coming back to the, to the league, they are newcomers, right? And everybody was, everybody was thinking that they were not going to like, live up to the standard of the big boys that are already there. But so far, they have shown that they can do it. Mm. They are not in the middle, they are not in the mid table, they are not even in the. In the they have nine in, points yeah, now. They are, they are, they are, in the top, they are among yes. the top tab tabulars. So, so you, you, begin to, you begin to give them some form of respect. I think at this point, Doma should be respected, seeing how far they have performed so far. I hope that they keep on the momentum and they do far far better than we expect because I, I would really love them to do that good one there mark i'm sure you have a fan already in the studio uh, joe is what <laughs> doma united fan i'm sure i want to see your face smiling <laughs> okay at least i'm happy for the fact that uh, you have a fan in the studio it's not common you have a, a lot of nigerian supporting yeah, european but, football but, but joe which side of gombe did you stay in let me I know I stayed at Federal Lo Locos. I stayed at Federal Locos. I schooled at Jekada Ferry. I, 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 I played against Gumbi United at Pantami for, for like two matches or so. Yeah, two matches. Wow, wow, wow. That's <laughs> great. That's great to know that, that we have uh, some fans out there who are supporting us. You know, Domo United started as a community club. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is where we are now. It has become a professional club that everyone uh, wants to associate with. But there has been a lot of turbulent journey. You know, earlier in the season, people mm -hmm. were saying Doma United were not going to play in the league. People were speculating that we have sold our NPFL tickets to some uh, so-called big clubs. Mm -hmm. And the owner of the club, that's the CEO, our chairman, keeps saying, no, we are not selling our tickets. We are going to play in the league. Whatever it takes, we will do it to ensure that this club play in the NPFL. And this is where we, what we are doing. Someone says after one or two games, we are going to sell the slots. Or maybe after one or two games, we will start, start faltering. And this is where we are. And all we do is to take one game at a time. One game at a time. We play today, and then the next game we are going to play it like a final. Mm, good one there. Uh, um, um, what, Mark. Mr. Mark, um, I'm glad that you said it's a community club. Uh, we all know I actually have, uh, I have, I have some friends that played for your team in the lower league. Uh, they are from Kano and they say a lot of good things about the club. Uh, growing up and even when I was playing football, I thought the major club after, uh, after Gombe United was Liverpool United. Are they still existing, please? I would like to know because they, you must, they must have rivaled you at some point. We call them Liverpool Club again. We call them mm. Gumbi Warriors now. Oh. Mm. Well, your, your question has been answered there. Let's not divert too much. But, uh, Mark, uh, from the way it is right now, from your uh, style of play, you said each game at a time, one game at a time, and you want to make sure your team continues to win so that you can be among the top uh, three, right, in your group. We have a set target at the end of the season, as I said earlier on. And you know, when you're going to war, oh, when, when, sorry for that, when you're going to war, you don't get to reveal your armory to your enemies. So we are not going to reveal our set targets for now, but at the end of the season, we will come out to tell everybody whether we have achieved our targets or not at the end of the season. But for now, we take each game as it comes. Okay. We play it well, like a final, and the players understand the importance of taking each game at this, as it comes. 
Okay, good one. Now, before I will let you leave the show, uh, when, when it comes to MPFL, I know this Abrig League is really very, very tough for MPFL club. It's not easy. And uh, so far, what has been the experience from the six matches played in this Abrig League? Uh, it has been a kind of, uh, uh, let me say, uh, fair, fair enough for Doma United at this point in time. You know, we started at home. We played really well against Sunshine Stars. And you know, uh, how painful it is to get a, a kind of get close to winning your first game in the Nigerian professional football league. Your first game, we were almost winning that game, and then we considered a late equalizer against Sunshine Stars. It was uh, disappointing, but then we 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 accepted the result and then says, okay, we are going to uh, cover off for that result. We lost against Niger Tornadoes in our second game away at Kaduna, but it was a very good game. Uh, generally, when you look at our performances, it has been a very good performance from the players. They play with all confidence. And then, uh, the only disappointment we have had so far, losing one game against uh, uh, Niger Tornadoes, but we have picked out uh, three draws so far. That is against uh, Sunshine Stars, uh, away at Wikitoris, away at Bendel Insurance. And then we won two games at home against Dakada, and then now against Rivers United. So it has been a fair uh, uh, performance so far from Doma United in the last six games, scoring like, um, let me see how many goals, four or five goals or so. So it has been a wonderful performance from the team. And then we are good. Let's keep working towards the next few games. So our mind is now set on uh, our game against... Uh, uh, Rangers International away at Oka. So we'll be looking forward to that as well. Okay, good one there. On a light note, uh, that's uh, celebration style by your team. <laughs> we invented it. <laughs> no, this wasn't our celebration. This is uh, Rivers tonight. Oh, sorry. That's River. Okay, I remember because the dance, it looks like uh, the fisherman dance, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Good one there. <laughs> so and Rivers yeah, doesn't flow so mostly him. in the north. So rivers flows <laughs> only in the south, so we were able Good to one. control Thank you very any much river for joining us that on the show. Mark Malele from Gombe. Thank you. Okay, good one. Let's come back to the studio right now. We just talked about the MPF here. There, give me your update. Doma United Media Office has been here talking about the team. Really, they really surprised everyone so far in their own group, Group B. But uh, uh, we will be looking at more of the matches being played when it comes to football in Nigeria. It's actually getting better. Even if we don't want to accept that, but really, it's getting better. And now we move uh, quickly. Let us to give you update concerning basketball, NBA regular season. So matches were uh, games were played earlier today. Let's look at the results of those games that have been played in the NBA. Memphis Grizzlies lost by a three-point against Toronto Raptors, uh, where Philadelphia 76 has uh, uh, they fought hard, but uh, they couldn't win against New York Knicks, who actually nipping the ball uh, 108 against uh, Philadelphia 76, who scored 97. And you have Denver Nugget uh, winning, uh, rather losing 98. So Minnesota Timberwolves actually won 128. Uh, they did so well. 30 good points ahead of Denver Nugget. Sacramento Kings, the kingship in them went down as they lost that game against New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans fought hard. They won 136 against uh, Sacramento Kings winning that game in those, uh, that particular encounter. Giving you update of games played and right now is really edging closer and closer. Talking about the All-Star Games February 1920. A lot of basketball players, lovers, can't wait to see what will be happening concerning that. Talking about the East and the West Coast uh, when it comes to basketball. Who will win this this way, Ziyani is at the Compost Group or the Lakers man, LeBron the King James. We are, we are waiting for that particular day to come. Just giving you an update concerning the NBA. Let's roll it back to football. Let's talk about Chan. Well, African Nations Championships, Senegal really are ruling Africa because the Teranga Lions' uh, home team really did well. Call, uh, call, uh, at least uh, uh, conquered the uh, continent now. They were able to beat Algeria, the host nation, on penalty after playing nil-nil in the early encounter. Good one for Senegal. The main team, Teranga Lions, won the Nations Cup. They also did well by winning the Chan, and they also won the big soccer. So for this year, 2022-2023, uh, really, Senegal has been the number one in Africa in big soccer, in Chan, and also in AFCON. Joe? That tells you they are doing something good. <laughs> yes, because the senior national team wins, mm. then the junior national team is now winning. It means that there is some form of continuity in their system, and what we expect is 
this particular set of players to graduate into the senior national team and also do well. Maybe we shouldn't call them junior or senior. Well, they, I mean, we should just call them their own base. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Own base. Yes. But uh, 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 the, the most important thing is that whichever set of, um, uh, of level they are, they are doing what they are supposed to do. They are winning games. Mm. They are not just winning games. They are winning uh, competitions. And they, they won this away from home against the host team. I think that's something that should be applauded. Something should be applauded, but really, I think Senegal have this done well. The three trophies in big soccer, they won it. They won in uh, Chan now. They, they got to Algeria. They conquered even Algeria with their support, despite the massive turnout of fans of Algeria. I, I, I can and then imagine, you look at AFCOM. I can imagine the hostility in the stadium. They faced. They, they, they faced and they conquered it. Mm. They, they, like you said, they are winning in every angle, which means they are doing a lot of things right, and they should be copied. We should copy them and do a lot of things right so that we win. Nigeria can easily. To them. <laughs> yes, easily copy. Coming from Joe Peters there, but really we can copy Senegal and do well. They won the Afcon, they won the Chan, they won the big soccer. Give it up to, give it up to uh, Teranga Lions of Senegal, both home base, both international. They are really representing Senegal there. Now let's talk about Club World Cup taking place over there in Morocco, where uh, Odion Igalo's team, Al Hilal, they were able to do well as they drove White Lakers and Blanca. Well, it was a painful loss, but, uh, uh, well, <laughs> I think that was a, a little uh, flip there. Mm. Well, from the way it is, uh, let's just uh, turn it around. Uh, talking about uh, Seattle Sanders, uh, Al Ali. Al Ali was able to win against Seattle Sanders. They are defeating them. Good one for Al Ali. They were able to win. And I love the fact that uh, Al Hilal uh, show class. Uh, why that Casablanca? Uh, uh, they, they fought hard, but uh, penalty shootout, they actually crashed out. Yeah, the, the game was um, more of Al Hilal than it was mm. why that Casablanca. I, I thought initially before the game, I thought why that was actually going to win. But I don't know, maybe I overrated them. And Al Hilal showed that they, uh, they deserved the game. They actually won it on penalties, but they, they did deserve the game even uh, during uh, regular time. Mm. Well, good one for Al Hilal and also Al Ali. Al Ali will be hoping that they'll be able to do well against uh, Real Madrid. They'll be facing them in the semi final. Let's see what they'll be doing when it comes to the Club World Cup taking place in Morocco. But like I said, Black Card now they are out, but we still have one African team, Al Ali. Hopefully they will do well. Let's see if they can beat Real Madrid. After all, they are also uh, stuttering right now. But from there, let's talk about uh, English Premier League over the weekend. The two big boys at the top. They couldn't win their games as now be thanking <laughs> Manchester City. <laughs> uh, funny way it is. Well, a big one for us now. They lost against Everton and also Manchester City lost against Tottenham Hotspur. for us now be thanking them right now that they were able to help them. <laughs> well, it's still remaining the same. Let's look at the result or rather the first game there. Uh, talking about the story now. Well, Harry Kane, Harry Kane was able to score a, a, a goal there and making it to score 200 goals. But uh, Chelsea, nearly against Fulham, Everton pipped us now 1 0. Aston Villa. 4-2 uh, from Leicester. They were able to win that game. You have Brentford 3-0 against Southampton. Bright, uh, over, uh, Brighton there. They defeated uh, uh, Burnham out 1-0. Manchester United. Good one for them. Really on roller coaster winning uh, mentality right now. 2-1 well against Crystal Palace. You have Liverpool. What happened to, to them? They really walked alone. 3-0 from Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Molineux Stadium. What's the way to go? Newcastle 1-1 against West Ham. Nottingham Forest 1-0 against Leeds United. They did well. And you have uh, Oxford for uh, people in Manchester City. Arsenal thanking them. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbors did us a favor. Our mm. bitter rivals did us a favor there. I just, I, 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 I thought Arsenal were not really kicking mm. that day, but I wouldn't want to blame, I don't want to blame them. Mm. I think it's a Shandai. But you guys lost. I think it's a Shandai. But you guys lost. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but I think it's a Shandai e e e effect. Mm. I think it's a new coach Shandai effect. Normally, when a new coach comes to a club, everybody is struggling to prove a point to earn a shirt. Mm. And Everton, it ha so happened that it, it was our, our turn to play against them. Another thing is that we never really used to get a good result at Goodison Park for a long time now. Mm. So that jinx was also there. But luckily for us, there's nothing to lose. We've not lost anything, basically, if not against Manchester United, that are now eight points uh, 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 nearer, uh, 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 nearer to us. But at the end, we are still five points clear. We have the chance to do well next week, and we have an outstanding game. So it's a good week for us. 
notwithstanding, it's a good week for us. Well, Arsenal fans don't want to accept <laughs> that they actually lost that game, but really a good one from Everton. They were able to win 1-0, and you look at Tottenham Hotspur beating Manchester City. Looking at the way the table is right now, you know that uh, the, the top two are still remaining the same. Arsenal remaining on 50. You have uh, Man City on 45, but uh, United are closing the gap now to 8 points. They are 42 points. Newcastle fourth with 40 points. 10 points that drift the two. Arsenal and Newcastle. Tottenham all four. Just a point behind uh, uh, Newcastle United. They have 39 after beating Manchester City. So, uh, Brentford, Fulham, Chelsea, well, finally, out of 10 position for weeks, they've been there, but they joined to jump to nine position. But for Arsenal, Manchester City, the rivalry still remain the same, 50-45. I think the, the rivalry will be, the, 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 whoever will win the, 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 the league, mm. it's going to be between those two. But they should Definitely. watch out for Man United. Yes. They should watch out. United, Man United is on seems a, on a, to be really... United is on a roller coaster. Mm. I agree. But they've lost Casemiro to a red card. Too much, uh, too much ban now. I don't. I think his effect is massive enough, enough that it will take a toll on them. Mm. They are, they are, they are, their upcoming matches, they should be very, very careful because without Casemiro in that middle, I think they are lacking. Um, but as as a rival, I would expect that they should lose. But they are, they are doing, they are really doing well. And it, maybe if Man U or if if Man City or Arsenal drop drop maybe up to two, three points before you know Manchester United would come into com contention for the league. So far, they are doing good. Um, Ten Hag has won the chess game against uh, Ronaldo's and all the bad results that was accumulated at the, the beginning of the, of the, of the season. I, uh, I give credit to him. For a long time, this is the first time I'm seeing a compact, steady, and consistent Manchester United team since the time of Alex Ferguson, mm. and it's all credit to him, and he has been able to achieve this under six months. That's really, really nice. That's something to be really, really appreciated of him. Well, just giving you updates concerning those games, but for Harry Kane, 200 goals in the Premier League right now, the man is celebrating. Somebody asked me a question. He said, uh, when Harry, uh, Harry Kane re uh, re retires, would he be considered a successful player? Mm. I said no he will be considered a successful striker. Somebody is going to come about that will break his record just like he's breaking people's records. So whatever he's becoming now is temporal. Mm -hmm. Whatever he'll get to achieve now will be temporal until he makes that tough decision of leaving Tottenham, going to a place where he will actually win a trophy. A trophy. Then he will be remembered and then he will have something to prove and show his children, not uh, golden boots that every other person has. Well, but, <laughs> coming from Joe, there are a lot of activities in the world of sport. We we'll just have to go right now. We want to appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you very much. And sir. also for Mark Malele, media officer of Gombe United, a journal from Gombe. We appreciate you too. Well, sport is always business and fitness. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.